This is listening exercise, listen and repeat with me. Listen. The benefits of failure. The benefits of failure. Listen for main ideas. Page 53. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Carl Simmons. My name is Carl Simmons. And I would like to talk to you about the other side of success. I'd like to talk to you about the other sides of success. Failure. Failure. Just as success is something we all want, just as success is something we all want, failure is something that we all fear. Failure is something that we all fear. Yet failure is an important stage. Yeah, yet failure is an important stage on the road to success. On the road to success. And I'd like to illustrate this. And I'd like to illustrate this with some examples. With some examples. You've all heard of the Beatles. You've all heard of the Beatles. Well, perhaps you also know that Decca Records turned down the Beatles. Well, perhaps you also know that Decca Records turned down the Beatles. Saying that their kind of music saying that their kind of music would never be popular. Would never be popular. Michael Jordan Michael Jordan, the basketball superstar, the basketball superstar, was cut from his high school basketball team. Was cut from his high school basketball team because he lacked skill. Because he lacked skill. Walt Disney was told he had no creativity. Walt Disney was told he had no creativity or original ideas. Or original ideas. John Grisham. John. John Grisham, the top novelist who the top novelist is now a multimillionaire who is now a multimillionaire was turned down by 16 agents was turned down by 16 agents and publishers before he had his first book published and publishers before he had his first book published all these are examples of people all these are examples of people who experienced failure who experienced failure but then went on to succeed. But then, but then went on to succeed. I think there are two points I'd like to emphasize here. I think there are two points I'd like to emphasize here. The first is that we shouldn't be afraid of failure. The first is that we shouldn't be afraid of failure. Because we can learn from it. Because we can learn from it. Being successful is great. Being successful is great. But it doesn't always teach you a lot. But it doesn't always teach you a lot. You can learn a lot more from your failures. You can learn a lot more from your failures. Than you can from your successes. Than you can from your successes. Take Michael Jordan. Take Michael Jordan. For example. For example. He learned from his mistakes. He learned from his mistakes. He worked out what he was doing wrong. He worked out what he was doing wrong. Changed his game. Changed his game. And improved to become the best basketball player in the world. And, and improved to become the best basketball player in the world. The same goes for Akio Morita. The same goes for Akio Morita. The founder of Sony Corporation. The founder of Sony Corporation. The first product he made was a rice cooker that the first product he made was a rice cooker that didn't work. That didn't work. It burned the rice. It burned the rice rather than cooking it. Rather than cooking it. He sold fewer than 100 of them. He sold fewer than 100 of them. And lost a lot of money. And lost and lost a lot of money. But he learned from the experience. But he learned from the experience. And of course, today, everyone knows the name Sony. And today, uh, of course, today, everyone knows the, na the name Sony. The second point I want to make about failure. The second point I want to make about failure. Is that you must not permit failure to defeat you. Is that you must not permit failure to defeat you. Failure is something to be encouraged by. Failure is something to be encouraged by. 
don't give up too easily. Don't give up too easily. Remember John Grisham. Remember John Grisham. His first book, A Time to Kill, his first book, A Time to Kill, wasn't a success when wasn't a success when it was published. When it was published, only five thousand copies were printed. Only five thousand copies were printed. And he ended up buying a lot of them and selling them himself. And ended up buying a lot of them and selling them himself. But he didn't give up. But he didn't give up. He continued to develop his writing. He continued to develop his writing. And his next novel, the and his next novel, Firm, firm was a great success. Was a great success. And became a Hollywood movie starring Tom Cruise. And become a Hollywood movie starring Tom Cruise. So, what I'm saying is believe in yourself. What I'm saying is believe in yourself and never give up. And never give Did up. Did you know that Thomas Edison tried more than nine thousand times? Did you know that Thomas Edison tried more than nine thousand times before he managed to make the first light bulb work? Before he managed to make the first light bulb work. He learned from his mistakes. He learned from his mistakes. And so must we all. And so must we all. I'd like to suggest that it is because of their failures that. I'd like to suggest that it is because of their failures. These people became such great successes. These people became such great successes. You need to experience failure. You need to experience failure. And learn from it in order. And learn from it. In order to really succeed. In order to really succeed. Failing is a good preparation for life. Failing is a good preparation for life. It makes you stronger and more able to overcome life's problems. It makes you stronger and make able and more able to overcome life's problems. Don't be scared of failure. Don't be scared it might of failure. It might sound strange. Sounds strange. But letting go of your fear of failure may help you to succeed. But letting go of your fear of failure may help you uh, help you to succeed. Okay? So you listen and repeat like this. Thank you for your listening and repeating.